Welcome to Mona Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at minting your space, setting up a fixed price sale, and an auction. Now, if you've been following along, you have submitted your space. You've got all of your assets added to the submission process. It's gone through Q&A, and they have cleared it for minting. So you'll have the mint space option available. So we're going to click on this. Now, in this case, we're using a test net because I don't want to mint the template. So this would, of course, be the Ethereum uh, main net. And this, of course, would be the Polygon Matic main net. Now, each blockchain has its pros and cons, of course. But generally speaking, Ethereum is more visible, but more expensive, like a lot more expensive and kind of worse for the environment. And Polygon is less visible, much, much, much cheaper and better for the environment. A standard gas fee on Ethereum will cost anywhere between $100 and $500, depending on the second of the day, and Polygon will cost less than a dollar, usually. More details in the docs.mona.gallery uh, mint your space section. Well, there will be a number of gas fees, including the minting gas fee, which is this one, a one-time initialization gas fee with OpenSea, an optional listing fee, which is a lot cheaper than the others, and the sale gas fee when you sell your space, if it sells below one Ether in value. Once you select the blockchain of choice, in this case Ethereum, up here it will give you the information on the estimated gas fee. So the estimated gas fee for this transaction is this much Ether. Uh, so we'll have estimated gas fee, uh, total there. Uh, once again, check all the information. Now this of course would be Mona Gallery, not staging. And then go confirm. Will take a little bit of time. And there you go. Your space has dropped. Once you hit view in OpenSea, you should be taken to your drop. If it doesn't work, uh, it might take a little bit of time before it gets up on OpenSea. So it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So if you don't get there directly, uh, just give it a bit of time and try again. So we have our space uploaded on OpenSea. If I want to though, I can actually view on spaces. So for example, if I click on this, it will actually load up the space. So we have that. We have our basic properties, the theme, for example. Now these are hooked into the Mona collection. And then we have, of course, some details here, token ID, token standard blockchain, for example. Uh, now, of course, yours would be slightly different because uh, you wouldn't be using the test net. Uh, down here, we have your activity. So it was minted today. Uh, we have our connection with price history, uh, listings, for example, and offers. Now, if you want to sell your space, you will want to go here. Now, because I used Ethereum, um, I can use fixed price or timed auction. The other catch with Polygon is you don't have the option to do a timed auction. So keep that in mind. So let's say, for example, I want to do a fixed price. I can put, uh, let's say uh, this template is worth at least 100. You can set how long you want to set the fixed price for before it gets accepted. So for example, you could do a short uh, three or one week. If you want to, you can, of course, end it whenever you like. So a five day period as that option is not there. So let's do that. Six. There we go. Five months. Nope. We're using that calendar. Okay. 26 and one. There we go. So we have a five day auction. I can do time as well. We have some more options. We can sell as a bundle, bundle name, bundle description. We can add some items here. And we can also reserve for a specific buyer. So we would actually uh, be able to, this item can be purchased as soon as it is listed by this particular address. So lots of options there. Now this actually might be incorrect um, because when you sell your space, there will be a 2.5% OpenSea fee, there will be a 2.5% Mona fee, and then there will be a 5% creator royalty 
which in fact is you. Um, so at the end of each month, you'll get 5% of the sale in the month of that sale. So don't freak out when you lose 10% of your sale when you sell it for the first time. And this is one of the benefits of Ethereum. So because there's more visibility, there's a higher chance that your space might be sold on and therefore you will get that creator royalty. Uh, whereas Polygon is less visible and it might be harder to sell that in, in those spaces. As it stands, these fees are a little bit incorrect and it could just be because we're on the test net as well. So that's a fixed price. The other option is timed auction once again with Ethereum. So we could sell to the highest bidder. The, these uses uh, wrapped Ethereum, which is very easy to get back to Ethereum. How long does that period of time go for? So I'm gonna set that to uh, one week. We can include the reserve price. So if you don't receive any bids equal to or greater than your reserve, the auction will end without a sale. So that's like basically a minimum price that you would sell your space for. And you can say how much that is. And we also have sell with declining price. So you have your starting price over the course of the time and the ending price. So how, how much that goes down by. Once again, the fees down here, when you sell your space, uh, not exactly accurate as it stands, 2.5 to OpenSea, 2.5 to Mona, and 5% to the creator. So those are your options with fixed price and timed auction. So once you do that, you would complete the listing. So I'm gonna take that back. Uh, so once everything's filled out, so that's not there. So once that's filled out, you can complete the listing. And then it's good to go. You can sell your space uh, on OpenSea and make your first sale or 10th sale, depending on where you're at. So that's minting with Mona. Thanks for watching and happy minting. <laughs>